Okay, so today we are going to unbox and take a look at the uh, Crayford Focuser, um, which was a replacement for the stock Focuser um, that I've currently got on my AEED uh, Skywatcher telescope. So let's unbox. And it comes as one piece. So let's just take it out of the protective bag. Some uh, screws attached to the bag there. Not sure what they are for yet, or whether we will actually need them. Um, but here's the Crayford uh, Dual Speed 2 inch focuser. Um, so it is or feels very, very well built. Um, I think, I believe it's CNC machined. So it's very, very solid as opposed to just being a cast, um, which is what I believe the uh, the original stock version is as well that I've got with my telescope. Um, it's a nice black all over. Um, let's take a look at what the different screws and settings and adjustments are. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this protective cap off the side, which just stops the focus of moving in transit. And then you can see on the left and right hand side, um, we've got a what I believe is 10 to 1 ratio. Um, so if I just undo the tension bolt at the bottom, and then this should actually start the tube to draw in and draw out. So also on the draw tube, um, you'll notice that there's an index or measurement, which again is not on the stock version. Let's just zoom in there, hopefully. Um, so that's a nice way if you don't use an auto focuser um, and you want to try and you know save, I guess, a specific focus and position from night to night. Um, that's a nice visual aid to try and get you back quickly to close focus as possible. So on the, the left hand side here and the right hand side, um, the large knobs are supposed to turn. And then on the edge, we've got a much more finer adjustment as well. As I said, uh, I think it's a 10 to 1 ratio. So 10 turns of the little is the equivalent to one turn of the large. Okay, so what else we've got going on here? i um, got a protective cap on the bottom. Um, this adapter here at the front that is if you've got a one and a quarter inch uh, eyepiece or whatever you want to place into there uh, I'm just going to remove that to start with and just quick take a quick look at this so rather than just again on the stock version a screw which goes directly in and clamps onto whatever you've inserted um, if I tighten this screw you should be able to see a band or kind of like um, ring within that is what the screw is tightening as opposed to just the screw going directly onto your um, accessory or piece of equipment so I do like that, that's a nice touch. Um, likewise there is the, the two inch, um, same again if I turn this the ring tightens up as opposed to just the screw going directly onto your bit of equipment as well. Um, what else have we got on here? Okay, so um, on the bottom we've got the usual screws which allow for the, the setting up of the tension. So remember a Crayford uh, focuser um, works on a tension um, between a, a gentle screw pushing onto this bar here might not be able to pick this up, it's like a, a, a flat bar that runs all the way through. Um, and if I extend that out, you'll just be able to see, hopefully, in the light there, the plate goes all the way up. Screw in the middle there, the large one, that actually tightens everything up. So if I set this and tighten it, yes, I can turn the knobs of the wheels at the side, but the actual focuser is locked in place. Okay, so just slacken that for the second. Um, the other nice thing with this is if I unscrew this middle part, I can actually rotate um, the focuser around. 
So what this um, is, is great for this, so the original stock focus so that comes on the ED80 telescope Skywatcher, um, you cannot rotate at this point. So what this allows you to do is if you've got your camera set up and yes you're pointing in the right direction of the, the night sky but to get your framing correct, um, you know, you, you might be at an angle, you might be, um, I guess, vertical you set, you want to rotate it slightly of how you're viewing things. Um, you can actually just rotate the focus of the tube itself. Okay, so um, it is possible with, with the, um, the stock focuser, but what I have to do instead is slacken off the camera, um, which is against my reducer, and rotate it at that point. Now that, that's doable, but the problem is, is then I'm not always happy that the reducer and the camera are sitting square against each other. Whereas with this, once everything is in square, in the future, I can just use this um, screw at the top here to, to tighten or slacken whether I can rotate or not rotate uh, the camera. So that'll be great for framing. Uh, looking forward to using that in the future. Um, so as I said, um, this does feel very, very um, well manufactured. It is quite heavy. Um, we'll see, or hopefully everything will still balance out. I expect I will have to do some adjusting for the balancing. Um, but this is a very, very solid piece of kit. Um, in a, and hopefully it will be a good replacement. So, um, reasons why I'm replacing the stock focuser. Um, is the stock focuser, even when I've got all the tension um, screws adjusted and tight, there is slippage throughout the night of using it. Um, and I, I drew a line on the old focuser barrel, and as I said, throughout the night I can see that line falling and falling and falling, which is because the, the, the focus tube is actually slipping. Um, so hopefully this is a little bit more well built, built. Um, you know, similar setup. It's, it is a, a Crayford focuser after all, um, but hopefully the tension manages to sit better. Um, I do know that you know, obviously on the stock focuser, you can try and fix or sand down or smooth out um, this plate again, which which the the tension screw works against. Um, but I haven't got the equipment, unfortunately. Um, and I'd rather just you know just looking at this, I can see this is hopefully a much much better build straight away. Um, the other thing, as I said before, one of the reasons for replacing and choosing this particular model is um, because I can rotate the camera through to get my framing set up. So um, I'll put a link to this down below um, in the description, and um, if anybody's got any experience or um, is thinking of buying a replacement um, then please consider as well. So this has been a quick video of unboxing and a quick talk or discussion around the features of this 2 inch uh, Crayford focuser um, and next video hopefully I can give a bit more further feedback um, after using the, the, the focuser in the field.